Well, aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very pleased to be connecting with you today. It is a Thursday, and it is the 24th day of January, 2019. It is an um, interesting subject matter we're going to be talking about today, one that probably you will not hear very often, and one that will actually help quite a few people if they understand the deeper wisdom and understanding associated with what will be shared today. The subject matter is called soul marketing. And we're going to be talking about the power and the significance of soul marketing. It's something that is uh, linked to a deeper understanding of the nature and power and significance of the soul and how one can communicate to other souls and accomplish quite a bit more and quite a bit faster uh, method than they could by just verbal communications or advertising or any other form of communication. So this is something that you can expect today. Regarding uh, this subject, we'll, co we'll cover some information right out of one of Master Shaw's books. So this book he published a few years ago called Soul Over Matter, and this is Master Shaw for those of you that don't know who he is. And one of the unique things about Master Shaw and the information that he shares is that he receives guidance, uh, and he doesn't make up things from his mind. He's very connected to heaven, and heaven's been guiding him his whole life. And including the writing of his books. So he has literally over 21 books, 11 New York Times bestsellers, four of which have reached number one. Not an easy feat to accomplish. So uh, much more easily accomplished when um, you're writing pure words and pure information. And when he was um, in the early stages of, of introducing himself to the world and how he could help people in the world, he brought, um, he was writing his books, and he was flowing his books, should I say, and he asked Heaven, well, how do I get this out to the world, right? And Heaven said, you need to do soul marketing. And he asked Heaven, what is soul marketing? And so this is what you'll be learning a little bit more about today. So I found this last night when I was looking through my books, and what, I asked Heaven, what do I teach about today? And so I was looking through the books, and I flipped to this chapter, and they said, teach on this so let's check in with those who have joined us so far today uh, welcome Jorge welcome Devyani Aloha Kristen welcome also to Audrey Aloha Thweba welcome Kristen Rojas thank you for your service welcome Rena Singh welcome Tone Aloha Margaret Isel welcome also to Cora Sa and welcome to uh, Jawada. Aloha, Kristen Strachan. <clears throat> thank you all for your presence. And thank you for clicking on the share button to let other people know about today's live stream. <clears throat> this last couple of days, there have been opportunities to apply the great wisdom that my teacher, Master Shah, brings. You know, one of the things he says is to always approach everything with love and forgiveness. And one of the things I think that a lot of people forget about is love and forgiveness. So I was able to apply that quite a bit the last few days. Uh, being a, a teacher, I have quite a few students that connect with me and ask guidance. And so that's always a one-stop solution, keeping that in mind. Aloha, Donna Altman. Uh, you have a wonderful aspiring business I'm sure you could use some wisdom from that will be shared today as well so please hit the share button let other people know about this I'm waiting for Facebook to gather more souls I'm gonna go ahead and do a form of soul marketing which we will initiate now in the form of soul communication asking heaven to come forth and they will assist so connect with me at this time Dear all layers of the divine, thou and the source, our beloved creator, all of our mother and father, Shurfus, heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, we love you, we honor you, we respect you. We ask most humbly and sincerely for your presence at this time. We invite you to please come to offer your blessings, 
your guidance, your wisdom, and assist with today's wisdom and teaching on soul marketing. Very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the soul of the subject of soul marketing, please bring your wisdom that it can be shared today to serve all those that are watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes, we love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you, and we invite you to please come at this time as we sing the song of love, peace, and harmony. Please gather many, many souls. Bless them. Align our hearts and souls together as one. For those that are not familiar with the song Love, Peace, and Harmony, it is a mantra. It is a blessing tool. So I will sing it. If you don't know it, please close your eyes to receive the blessing. If you do, please join along with me. Let us begin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the song of love, peace, and harmony is actually used at the end of soul marketing. That's, a, that's why it is an aspect of it. And the reason why it is incorporated through soul marketing at the end is because you have just gathered many, many souls, which you will learn how to do through the course of uh, today's wisdom and teachings. But after you have a conversation with these souls in soul marketing, which you will learn how to do today, it is very important to send love to, um, uh, to clear the Shen Qi Jing blockages that may be, be in, in, inhibiting you from a successful uh, endeavor that you wish to accomplish. So soul marketing is very, very important. But what is more important is clearing the blockages that might be inhibiting you from having the connection that you're looking for with those individuals that could support you and whatever you're trying to accomplish. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and read from uh, Master Shah's book and welcome also to Colleen welcome Jen uh, welcome also to uh, any other souls that have come whose name I have not mentioned so this is uh, in the power of soul book soul over matter and in this book soul over matter Master Shah wrote this book co-wrote it with another man, a gentleman named Adam Markell Adam Markell is a mind over matter guru he's tr helped to train many many people be financially successful by keeping their mind in the right positive place. World-renowned guru. However, when he met Master Shah at a worldwide event that was not associated with either of them, it was just a worldwide event, uh, Master Shah introduced him to the concept of soul over matter. And uh, Adam was sharing with Master Shah, he says, why is it that, you know, I train hundreds of thousands of people and the exact same technique going over, but only really about one or two percent can become successful using these techniques. And Master Shah shared with him, it's because they are not applying soul over matter wisdom. And so the book itself has tremendous financial uh, wisdom in it um, from financial guru of mind over matter and from the wisdom of soul over matter. I do recommend that you pick it up. It's a great read and, and will help you tremendously in financial aspects in life. Chapter 7 talks about the power and significance of soul marketing. Okay? And so I'm going to read you some of the uh, more relevant aspects. So what is soul marketing? <clears throat> what I am sharing, this is Master Shaw speaking, not the other author. What I am sharing now is soul marketing, which very few companies and very few people have ever heard of. 
Soul marketing is divine wisdom. So marketing is to market to the soul. How many people are in your company? Maybe just you. How many people are in other companies that you're communicating with or the, the customers you're trying to reach? How many people are in your city? How many people are in your country? How many people are on Mother Earth? And in fact, how many uh, souls are on Mother Earth? Almost 8 billion now. How many souls are in the countless stars, planets, galaxies, and universes? Quite a few. Soul marketing is to market to all souls in humanity. Soul marketing is to communicate with all souls of the light side that can assist you with marketing to the souls of humanity. Physical marketing has its limitations. Soul marketing has zero limitations. Why does physical marketing have limitations? How much of this do you have, right? Physical marketing requires you to get out and beat the street. Soul marketing does not. Soul marketing has no limitations. Physical marketing is still important. It is important. But soul marketing has a much greater reach and penetration than physical marketing. Isn't that interesting? Reach and penetration. Welcome, Rosetta. Welcome, Nina Midway. A person, <clears throat> every human being has a soul. Many people do not know that every organization also has a soul. Every business, every website has a soul. Everyone and everything has a soul. All of your customers have a soul. And all of the marketing material that you make has a soul. Some of you, that might be the first time you've heard this. The wisdom is that all energy, all matter is from creator. Therefore, it has creator consciousness in it. And before the formation of actual physical form, that energy and matter still has a consciousness. So even though it's become into a physical form, be it a piece of marketing, advertising, or a thought, it is still made up of energy and matter. Therefore, it still has creator consciousness in it. Therefore, everything has a soul. A person or organization, everyone and everything, has a soul, mind, and body. And soul is the boss. If the soul of a person or the soul of an organization hears and loves what you have to market, the mind and the body of the person or the organization will follow. Very interesting. So I'll repeat that because it's very important. If the soul of a person or the soul of a business or organization hears and loves what you have to market, so we're doing it at the soul level, the mind and the body of that person or organization will follow. This is a very key one sentence secret. Soul marketing is a spiritual treasure for you and humanity. Soul marketing is to market to the souls of your clients and the souls of the groups and organizations affiliated with your business. If your business is related to all humanity, then you absolutely can market to all humanity. The significance and benefits of soul marketing can be summarized in one sentence. Market to the souls of your business's current and potential clients and affiliates first, then success of the physical marketing to the clients and affiliates and the success of your business will follow. So you still do the physical marketing, but you also do the soul marketing first. He goes on to say, <clears throat> when you do soul marketing, you chant for a few minutes after you do the practices, which I'll be sharing with you. And you can see from this example that I gave, that there are certain basic principles that must be followed. These are really important, these basic principles. Welcome Dan, welcome Robin Toth, welcome Crane, and welcome Franz. Thank you for coming, thank you for sharing. <clears throat> so, these are bullet points of things that are necessary to have successful soul marketing. Always use the four power techniques. We'll do that in an example. Four power technique is, Body power, soul power, mind power, sound power. The soul power is the soul marketing itself. <coughs> Be clear what you want. Tell the souls straightforward about what you are marketing, what you are trying to accomplish. 
let's say that you want, um, now sell marketing is not limited to business. This is a very important thing to, ch to change your mindset about. Let's say that you, uh, you, you are a member of a group, okay? And it could be a group that is designed to support a certain cause. Maybe you're helping the homeless or anything of that nature. So marketing works just fine for that. Let's say you're a group at a PTA uh, or, where you have 20 moms and you have to convince them of something, okay? Or you have to have a fundraiser of some kind. Uh, anything where you have groups of people where you have any degree of a need to get a message across, um, this is where soul marketing comes in, okay? So be clear about what you want. So let me set this up for you. When you do soul marketing, what you are doing is you are literally calling all of those souls that you need to communicate with into your presence. Now, for those that do not have open spiritual channels, you might not see those souls arrive. But in the soul world, souls can be many places at one point in time. So they will come when you call them. If, as was indicated in this book, you are communicating with all souls in all universes, do so. If you're only communicating with the souls on Mother Earth because you're marketing your jewelry or something like that and you want all of all of the souls of Mother Earth to find you, great, you can do that. If you're marketing in your own physical area, great, do that. Maybe it's a meeting with a group of 20 people in your town. So only communicate with the souls that you are marketing towards or communicating towards. The word marketing comes with a, a connotation that you're trying to sell something. Um, soul marketing does not include that. You'll see in a minute where this is a different uh, way of approaching things. So it's important to, in soul marketing, to open your heart. You are offering a service. And in order to offer a service, there needs to be a, a balance, a win-win. So you are asking the souls to come, and then there will be a communication, and you follow these bullet points. Um, you will use body power, soul power, mind power, sound power, which you will understand more in a few minutes. And you want to be clear about what you want to say to the souls that you've invited. Tell the souls very straightforwardly, you're having a conversation. This is just like a physical conversation, just like the kind you would have with those 20 people when you have that group meeting. Let's say that you have to have a meeting with three or four people. Um, maybe it's important. It's about um, an insurance problem, or maybe it's about getting a job. This is where soul marketing comes in. A lot of people uh, ask me, you know, can you give me a blessing for um, getting this job? And I'll remind them that they have the ability to call the souls of all those who are making the hiring decision. Call the soul of the company itself. Call the soul of all of those responsible for the marketing, or the hiring decision to come. And then uh, do a soul marketing, right? This is how you deal with things in advance. So many people, they have stress because they know they're going to have a meeting. One, two, three, five, ten, twenty people. And uh, they are apprehensive about that communication or that meeting because they need to get a point across and they're fearful that they might have some rebuttal or, or uh, incorrect communication or whatever it might be. So marketing puts you in a power position, uh, but it's a win-win uh, a scenario, okay? So be clear about what you want to say. Tell the souls that you call forth. So an example, dear all the souls... Uh, that I wish to have this communication with. You can listen. Da, 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 da. Please come. So those souls are right in front of you at that moment. This is what I want to say. You speak to them as if they were literally right in front of you. Just have a conversation. Okay? Very simple. Uh, tell them straightforward about what you are marketing, what meaning, what are you trying to accomplish. Okay? And... Uh, what you want and how you want them to respond. This is very key. If, you're, if you have to present to, let's say, 15, 20 people and um, you want it to be a win-win situation, you want to tell them also how you would like them to respond to your proposals. And what I'd really like is this kind of a response. Guide the souls that you have called as to what you would like them to do to support you. 
be specific, just as though you were in a physical meeting. Be sure to tell the souls very clearly, most importantly, sincerely and honestly that you are offering uh, this wisdom, this goods, these services, these ideas, uh, that you are, uh, if it's a job, that you bring these talents, <clears throat> these skill sets, you have this educational background, you've done this and that job before, and that's why you feel you'll be very valuable for your company, da 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 da, okay? Be specific. This is very important principle. If your intent is selfish, I want you to buy my product because I want to be a millionaire. That's very selfish. I want you to do this because I'm, I need to be successful. Okay, That's not win-win. Your conversation with these other souls needs to be win-win. I believe I bring a great skill set that can benefit you with this and this and this and this and this. In return, your company would have great value because I, I work good with coworkers and blah, 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 da, 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 da. Okay? My product will help you with this. You know, if you're selling a clothes or shoes or, or jewelry or you're selling um, uh, health services, right? Speak in a win-win uh, communication mass manner. So tell them, honestly, sincerely, that you are offering good services and explain how uh, you can serve them. Never do soul marketing for personal gain. This is a very important principle. If your intent is selfish, you will not get good results from soul marketing. Your situation could actually become worse because great light beings will not support selfishness. You must be sincere and you must be honest. Spiritual courtesy is also very important. Always remember to give gratitude to all the souls with whom you are soul marketing. Offer your gratitude. I'm so grateful for your presence and grateful for the opportunity to share with you this piece of information. I'm grateful for you coming. Uh, when they leave, thank you for listening. I'm grateful for the opportunity to do business with you in the future. I'm grateful for the opportunity for us to work together when we have our physical meeting. Gratitude. <clears throat> you must have a powerful opening and closing and a call to action. Very important. Okay, no different than an actual physical meeting. You must state your perspective and what you're trying to accomplish clearly, succinctly, powerful. You must have a, a, a clear closing at the end. As a result, this is why I want you to do this. This is how it'll benefit you. This is how it'll benefit me. Let us get together and work in harmony. Close, right? And a call to action. So when I uh, meet you in two days, when you see my marketing material in two days, when you come across my product, my service in two days or a week or whenever it is, I want you to call me. That's a call to action. I want you to call me. I want you to pick up the phone. I want you to go to my website and order right away. You have to give them a call to action. Tell them what to do. This is very important in soul marketing. No different than you would with any form of communication, any form of uh, where you're trying to get something accomplished. You have to tell them what you want and what to do. So this is the same thing at the soul level. It is a conversation at the soul level that includes a beginning, a middle, an end, and a calling, okay? <clears throat> uh, target important issues when doing soul marketing. Do not ask for trivial things. Target the important issues. If it's a meeting you're gonna have with 20 people and you need everybody to be on the same page, make sure you're targeting the mo most important things, not the things that are irrelevant. Welcome Lily, welcome uh, Rose, welcome Jorge, welcome Marlene, Welcome, Carol. Uh, some of you came in late. Um, uh, we'll give you an example of soul marketing in a minute. Uh, to be clear for those that, that came in a little bit later, um, this is a form of communication. The one sentence secret is market to the souls of your business, current or potential clients and affiliates first, then success of the physical marketing to clients, affiliates, and success of your business will follow. Uh, we've expanded this concept to Resolving group issues. You might be the uh, one of the people that helps lead groups where there's a lot of argument. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, maybe you're part of a group of a apartment complex or condominium where uh, there's everybody is, is the chief and no one's the Indian. And somehow you all need to come together. 
this is where these kinds of wisdoms can help tremendously. Uh, welcome also to Carol and Marlene. And so let's do an example of this. <clears throat> now you will have to plug in your own version of this. It could be that it's your family that you need to do soul communication with. Maybe there's a lot of discord in the family unit, right? You've got three kids, a husband, and uh, maybe the husband's brother is living in the house and it's creating tension. This is no different. The wisdom can be applied with any group structure, okay? Three or more people is a group structure. So the same wisdom can apply because basically when you get into three or more people, there is a likelihood for discord. Everyone has their own perspectives and opinions. And at the human verbal level, um, we can have problems in getting um, some accurate results. And so remember, the key in soul marketing is win-win. It has to be um, beneficial for everybody involved. It can't just be you have your outcome that you want and everyone else, oh well, okay? Heaven will not support that. <clears throat> so, four power technique, body power, sound power, mind power, and the most important part, soul power. The body power, prayer position, or if you're familiar with the soul light, soul service hand position, drop the left hand in front of your heart center. This <clears throat> uh, is connecting heaven into our heart center. It's a hand mudra position. That's the body power. Mind power, very simple. The souls that you call forth, visualize them. If you're calling forth all humanity, well, the room's going to be a little full. So visualize just, you know, uh, uh, maybe uh, souls lined up one behind the other, where there's literally countless souls lined up behind the, each other. They can all hear you fine, okay? If it's 20 or so people, visualize them. So that's the creative visualization. Uh, they're all beings of light. Uh, that's the mind power. For the sound power, the sound power will be our communication and at the end of the communication, we need to uh, spread love. So we can chant uh, a number of things, including divine love, those simple words, divine love, divine love. Because what you want to do is clear any blockages that may be inherent in that group that you have called. We can chant the song of love, peace, and harmony, which I did earlier. That is highly suggested because it carries extraordinary power. So at the end of the communication, we offer a blessing that smooths over any rough edges that might be inhibiting you from having a successful meeting, a successful marketing, a successful event, a successful uh, whatever you're trying to accomplish. Uh, and that would be the sound power. For the soul power, let us do this together. Now what I want each of you to do is choose a specific welcome in and <clears throat> choose a specific area where you have Three or, more, three or more people that you need to get on the same page, that you want everybody to hear about your product, your service, your idea, or your, um, uh, your hope to bring everybody onto the same page about whatever that subject matter is. Choose it now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to plug it in in the right places. So place our hands in the appropriate position, body power. Close your eyes. If you're looking at me, your eyes are not closed. And let us connect to the soul world. We always want to ask the beings of light to serve. They're happy to serve. So repeat after me if comfortable. Dear my beloved divine creator, dear all of the beings of light serving the light side in the soul world, including... And you can name specific beings, Jesus, Mother Mary. Uh, if you believe Buddha, call Buddha to come. If you believe Krishna, call Krishna to come. Whoever you believe, call them to come, to serve. Dear all the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, all the beings of light, I love you. Give them your love. I love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you. I ask for your presence at this time to bless in the most appropriate way this soul communication with the souls that I will be inviting for this soul marketing and soul communication. I am extremely grateful. Thank you. <clears throat> Dear, now we communicate with all the souls. 
So think of the group that you wish to communicate with and repeat, dear the souls of all those that I need to communicate with for this specific subject matter that you've chosen. You, if you know their names, call them. Please come. If you don't know their names, all of those in the group that I'm thinking of, please come. If it's a marketing uh, effort, uh, all the souls that are looking for uh, my product that would like to know more about a product that has my qualities uh, like that, please come. All those that could benefit from my product, please come. Now, if you're in a very specific geographic area, there are all those in the city of that, uh, uh, that can visit or would visit my store, my storefront, please come. So you can be very geographically specific as well. Okay, this is part of the soul marketing. When they come, and they are right there, right when you call them, the first thing you do is you connect with love. I love you. Open your heart. I love you. Again, I love you. I'm so grateful for your presence. Always offer gratitude. Thank you for coming. Tell them who you are. My name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. <clears throat> I would like to share with you about, and now you'll be very specific, first, middle, last, and then calling. Okay? I would like to share with you about, da, 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 go ahead. I want to tell you about my business. I want to tell you about this meeting. I want to tell you about the problems we've been having as a group. Okay? Speak it now. I'll give you a minute. Remember, this is win-win. So when we communicate with them, we want to uh, ensure that they understand that we want to meet our needs and their needs. So we state, these are the benefits I can bring. These are the benefits that you will receive as a result of what I can bring to you. Now state the benefits to them for your positive communication, for your marketing success, whatever you're bringing to the table. Now state the next minute of silence, the benefits that they will receive by what you are bringing to the table. Now, we have to do a calling at the end. A calling is telling them uh, what the final result is and what you want them to do. So if you want them to call you, if you want them to email you, you want them to go to your website, you want them to respond the minute they see your marketing, you want them to um, come together in harmony. Uh, so when I communicate, what I'm wanting is for all of us to come together in harmony. When, we, when I come to you uh, for this job, this communication, uh, I want you to hire me, okay? State the end result of what you want. Do it now. How? Oh. Now, let us do a quick forgiveness practice. Very important. I probably should have done it in the beginning. Forgiveness is important because out of all those souls you invited, you may have already had some miscommunication. You may have already um, created some Shen Qi Jing negative energy blockages before the communication. You may be not have. In either case, it's very wise to do a forgiveness practice. So let's do it now. But in the future, do it before uh, you, you start talking to the souls. So it goes like this. Repeat after me. Dear all of these souls, I wish to sincerely apologize if I have harmed you in any way, especially in communication, uh, communicating negatively, in business communication, 
if I have ever inhibited you from success in your businesses, if I have ever stopped you from having successful successes in your communications or getting the needs across that you wanted to get across, please forgive me. Whatever I may have done to bring discord between us in any time, all time, I sincerely apologize. I wish for all of us to come together in love, peace, and harmony. I wish for this communication to be harmonious. I wish for the end result to be harmonious where you get a fabulous product or, or service and I am also equally rewarded. I'm very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now we finish by offering love to everyone. So we sing Love, Peace, and Harmony. Let's sing one round of Love, Peace, and Harmony uh, to serve all of these souls. Do la lu la li. Lu la lu la la li. Lu la lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Now, I personally would sing it more than one round. I would probably do it for at least five minutes, maybe a little bit longer. And at the end, you offer your gratitude and ask the souls to respect and return. So the gratitude, do it now. Dear all of these beautiful souls that have come, I'm extremely grateful for your presence. I'm extremely grateful for you listening to me. I wish a win-win scenario. I look forward to serving you. And I will see you all in the physical very soon. Please respectfully return. Bye-bye. And that's how you would do it. So this is the steps of soul marketing. From the beginning, you open your heart. You do everything from a win-win scenario. You, If it's a group of three or more people, whatever the conditions, you call their souls. You have a communication that has a beginning, a middle, and an end. The beginning starts out, this is exactly what I'd like to accomplish. The middle says, this is how everyone can benefit from this. And the end is, what the, is the end result that you want to accomplish? And their call to action. Call me, email me, connect with me, say yes to hiring me, whatever it is, the, the end result action you want. Then uh, uh, complete by offering love through love, peace, and harmony. At the beginning of their communication, once you've called the souls, add the forgiveness practice. Uh, if you do forgiveness right away, when you've called the souls, you're going to get a lot more positive communication, a lot more open heartedness. Okay? So do not feel that this has to be strictly applied to business. It can be applied to any group of three or more where you're trying to get everybody on the same page. Okay, want to get everybody to be moving in the same direction and lockstep, kind of like rowing the boat. Uh, if everyone's rowing the boat in different ways, you're not going to go forward all that fast. So this puts everyone into the same mindset, lockstep. So I'm very grateful for your presence. I hope you've enjoyed this wisdom. And I look forward to serving you more in the future. Uh, Sunday, I encourage you to join me as we sing the song of love, peace, and harmony for unconditional service to those with the condition of cancer. It's an opportunity to generate some good virtue by offering your unconditional service. So this happens Sunday, 6 p.m. Hawaii time, 8 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. That would be 1 p.m. Eastern time. Also in... Uh, in uh, uh, India it's early in the morning 9:30 a.m. so it was a rare opportunity to join me and then also um, Australia can join me it's like uh, uh, 3 in the afternoon something like that Kiwi land it's 5 in the afternoon and so uh, it's Monday for them but they can still join me so I look forward to serving you then love you love you love you thank you thank you thank you and we'll see you on Sunday bye bye everybody <laughs>